see that sign. Here we go. Here we go. This place is beautiful. It's just perfect. Alright, here we are. We're in Oceanside, California at the Titleist Performance Institute. Here to get fitted. <laughs> miles an hour faster than your seven so 145 ish is kind of the ballpark that we're looking for and then i would say secondly but maybe if not more importantly you don't want that landing angle to change too much which i don't think you're going to have an issue with that because you're you're good at making contact higher in the face which gets your launch to come up <clears throat> getting it in the greens or using this off of the tee I've, I've got a driving iron that i usually use off the tee there's a couple of there's a couple of holes in my home course that i'll i'll use a four iron sometime uh, one or two holes, but uh, mostly it's in the long par fives. Well, that's great. Yeah. Perfect. That's our stage. You can move off that a little bit. That's just a schedule. Yeah, cool. I'll get it. Does it feel a little heavy? Two iron in this model, it's going too low yeah. to get you to that distance. So yeah. I'm thinking going to the three iron, mainly because of the loft that that club has. We're going to hopefully see something a little higher. Yeah. Iron yeah. to get yeah. us to that number. I'm not sold on, you know, the model that we're in with the U500. So let's try something that's in the U510, so the bigger of the two. Yeah. But at the loft of the three iron, we haven't tried this yet. Okay. You're addressing the golf ball. Yeah. That club has a loft of, you know, that's on the iron itself. Yeah. And then you have what happens dynamically at impact. So you're de-lofting it. Yeah. Try to de-loft it a little less than okay. you are. Because you're, again, you're a good ball striker, which all good ball strikers, they lean on it. Yeah. With something maybe this already less lofted, maybe not do it so much. Right. Just to see if that does a difference for the flight. If you're hitting this one off the tee, what's a what's a number that you'd be looking for? Uh, like two sixty-five total distance. Yeah, two seven. Good. Rolled out to two seventy, carry two fifty in the air. Become non-existent now that we're in something longer. Yeah. That last one carried 262 in the air. Okay. Awesome. Is seeing a fairway wood with something like that? Is that something that you would want to do? If it goes the distance that you're trying to hit, you know, what do you, value the you know the only the only apprehension, and it's silly, is just that I have 
a, a driver. One would. And that's it? <laughs> that's so silly, but that's the only, I mean, really, no. Do you, do you want to look at something? Do you want to look at something that would be comparable to this? I would like to. In a fairway wood? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Then. I'd like to look at it. Because this is something that can go in the keeper pile, I yeah, think. I think so, too. If you stayed there, you could still get this thing to stop on a green. I'm just being picky yeah. and trying to leave you a shorter putt. You know, I mean, it just comes down to, are you going to make more 10-footers or 30-footers? I'd rather have a short. Now, with fairway metal, are you, would you say you'd have more of a tendency to hit him left like that? Yeah. Is that a, that's a definite possibility? Yes. Okay, let me have that back then. It's going to play like one and a half degrees flat and it's lofted up at one and a half degrees. I like the on the Based on your tempo, I think this club might be a little too light. We're at standard length for what a four wood is, 42 and a half inches. But I'm gonna try and give you a little bit more weight in the head to up the swing weight a little bit. 